climate change is being felt around the world, and nowhere is it more destructive than in Africa. But it's not only global warming that is increasing poverty amongst people directly dependent on the land for their livelihoods. Climate change is actually compounding a problem that has been growing for the past 30 years. With 80% of people dependent on the health of their soils and water systems for their survival, poverty has been on the increase in many parts of Kenya, as unsustainable practices have steadily undermined the country's resources. Petronilla Opata is a typical case. A single parent of five, her family are under extreme stress as her farm is suffering from the effects of decreasing soil fertility, erosion and the impacts of Kenya's most recent drought. For the second year running, her crop of maize has failed. While it's important to realise that poverty within the soils equates to poverty for those that live on it, when it comes to climate change, there is another serious consequence of land degradation and poor agricultural practices. Soil contains twice the amount of carbon than the atmosphere, and small changes in the soil carbon store can cause large changes in atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations. SCC VI Agroforestry is one organisation that has recognised this powerful potential of soil to mitigate the impacts of global warming and at the same time create resilience amongst farmers to its damaging effects. Now, its promotion of sustainable land management practices is spreading hope across eastern Africa. Bernard Oliech lives only a few miles from Petronilla's farm, but although he lives under exactly the same conditions, his small piece of land is thriving. His success is partially down to the manure from his cows, which has meant that even in drought, his maize has remained healthy. The manure helps retain the moisture in the soil. So when we get little rain, the, the, the underground, the underground now has moisture. Julia Sobonio has also increased the fertility and moisture retention ability of his soil by halting soil erosion on his land by digging retention ditches and planting the nutrient-rich fodder and nitrogen fixing plant Caliandra along the contours. Yeah, the quality of the soil has really improved as you can see. It, it never used to be this, it used to be a uh, sandy loam, a bit rocky and uh, as you can see now it's, uh, it's very fine, it contains a lot of moisture, it contains a lot of nutrients. I find it very very interesting now to work on my farm because the fertility has also improved. Even if there, are, there is drought I don't experience a lot of problems within the farm. Florence and Henry Ogondo also work with SCCVI. When they first began farming on this land, they had one cow. By using its manure to fertilize the soil and employing agroforestry methods to further improve the soil's fertility, they have built up their income to a point where they now have three cows plus a thriving hen coop. Their success has meant that they are completely food secure and self-sufficient happily supporting their children and grandchildren, who are all comparatively unaffected by the current drought. You see the harvest of this year, no one got harvest. But for us, we are lucky we got uh, three bags of maize from our shamba here. So I find it easier now, because I can also get milk, the vegetables, I can get the proteins from the chickens, our health is okay, plus the health of our grandchildren. Sustainable land management practices have the potential to provide us with a winning scenario. They help provide development to impoverished areas of the world. They increase a farmer's resilience to climate change and they mitigate the effects of climate change on a global scale. The major thing I would tell the, 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 my fellow community members and the farmers at large is that this land is his for now. But what about the generation of tomorrow? If you don't protect it now, then the future generation will not find it. So better protect it for the future generation. <laughs>